Linux, why do you hate me so much? Before I start, please pay attention to what I'm about to say. This is not a troll video. And this is not a hate video. This is my experience with Linux. In this case, Linux Minutes. I mean, Linux Mint 17. As you can probably see on the screen. And yes, I know I'm using a camera to film the screen. But the thing is, I don't think the computer that I'm running this on will be able to do screen capture. I just don't think it has the grunt for that. And that is if I could actually get that working. After a lot of debating with myself, I thought I would try out Linux Mint again and see if I could do anything with it. So, got a spare hard drive and I installed it on old Franken PC here, which is a very old computer, but it works. I mean, this is an old Pentium 4 that I'm running it on, but it seems to be up to the job. Credit where credit is due. I think that's the first thing I should say. That Linux Mint worked right out the box. The install went nice and smooth. And it got all the drivers and everything that it needed. And, well, well, that part just works. Also, I tried this on the internet. To see how good it could play YouTube videos. Now, if I could just remember how to do these things, because YouTube, everything on YouTube just keeps changing around, so you think you know something, and then you go to YouTube later, and they've changed it again. Now, if I could find my video manager, wherever the hell it is. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to pause here, because I have absolutely no idea how to get to my video manager. They've... It used to be, there used to be a video manager thing right on the left here, and it's gone. Okay, well I finally found it after months and months, or rather, what seems like months of searching. Let's play one of my videos here, and you'll see that everything, for the most part, is nice and smooth. We even have sound. Some bad news. Firstly, I will just briefly go over the bad news. Okay, let's try to find something where something is actually moving on the picture. Um, okay, let's go to when I was here when I was going on about my computer. For some reason, I haven't installed the capture card driver or the sound card driver. Now, the capture card driver is not going to be such a big deal. I mean, I just get the disc in it. So you can see that's playing. And as a matter of fact, it plays way better than it ever did on Windows. I mean, it's much smoother, the frame rate is better, and even if I put this on to HD in full screen, I still get a decent frame rate, which, um, and when I tried that on Windows, it was pretty much just Slideshow City, but on this one, on, I must say, on Linux Mint, it works a whole lot better. But that's where things end, because... Now comes the bad stuff. Now some of you might know that I do a lot of video and audio editing. So I thought, well, I would try and do some video editing on this. So I installed, when I can find it, Kden Live, which is well-known video editor for Linux. I've really got to get this screen clean because I've marked a lot of things on the screen when I was doing some of the stuff. So, let's see if we can use KDEN Live to edit a video. Now, I've already put a lot of video clips onto the hard drive for a video that I'm going to do. So, here we are in KDEN Live. Now, I'm just going to try to import some video. So, I'll go to Add Clip. And it goes away! So, I thought, okay, what about Wine? I'll use my video editor that I always use. So, the video editor that I always use on Windows anyway, which is Adobe Premiere 6.5. I'm sure you've seen this numerous times in my videos. Okay, it installed, no problem. 
but let's try to run it. I will say though, the first time I tried to run Adobe Premiere on Linux Mint 17, it actually did work without any problems. The only problem was I didn't have any codecs installed, so I couldn't use any of my video clips. So, as you can see, it's loading up. It looks like it's going to be alright. But just wait. There we go. Now, I apologize about the terrible screen angle for this next bit, but the thing is, I want to show you the troubles that I have with just trying to record the simplest thing. Let's say audio from my webcam's microphone. So I've got my webcam plugged into the front USB, so I'm having to use my laptop's built-in camera which only records at 640 by 480 so everything's going to be a bit fuzzy but hopefully you're going to be able to see it so let's try to record something from the webcam I'm going to go into Audacity which I installed when I can find it uh, I think it's in multimedia isn't it? yeah there we go multimedia uh, All right, so let's load up Audacity and try to record some audio from my webcam's microphone. And yes, I still got it on a bit of the tripod, but uh, I can't be bothered to untape it from there, so I just took the tripod apart. All right, so here we are in Audacity. Now, for one thing, I have absolutely no idea which thing to use. Okay, there we go. There we go. See, we've got nine different options here for the webcam. Now, if I was to do this in Windows, there would only be one thing that says Microsoft LifeCam Cinema. And that one thing is the one thing that works. But no matter which I choose, none of them work. Let's try microphone. All right, so I've selected webcam, microphone. Let's try to monitor the input. Well, let's try to do anything. You see there? It's just completely locked up. It's not doing anything. See? No matter what I choose, the thing crashes. See, there's no response from this whatsoever. See? Can't monitor. Cannot record. It won't even close. See? I'm pressing the close button and nothing happens I mean I could do this until the end of time and it still won't close the only way I can close this is to reset the computer and even then sometimes it doesn't work so I've got to pull the plug which is the only way I'm gonna get this computer to freaking Shut down. Okay. So I'm just going to restart this. And I will be back with even more problems to show you. Let's try to record some video from the webcam. So I installed what a lot of people use, which is Cheese. So here we are. Here is Cheese which lets you record from webcams and things like that except this is what I get nothing yet I have my webcam connected we should be seeing something but we don't Linux why do you hate me so much I just want to use you again it won't even close the program so there video editing and even audio editing is completely not an option for me if I use Linux and I want to use Linux trust me I do but it's these problems that it has that only me only I seem to have I mean I've seen what other people have done on their Linux machines and it looks pretty good but 
If I try to do any of that stuff, I don't know if maybe I, over the years, just chose the most incompatible hardware or something, but... And now there's just one other thing I want to go over with. And that is, how do I get to my home network on this thing? I just absolutely no idea how to do so. Alright, so let's go and see what's in the network. Well, we got something called Windows Network, so it's detected that there are networked Windows machines on this particular network. But I cannot get into them. All I've got is this silly workgroup thing. And on my Windows network, I've never ever needed to use the workgroup. I mean, this would show up, but it would also show Clem's computer, blah, 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 blah. And I'd just be a click that and get into any shared files or folders. But on here, I have to put in my password. And I know what my password is. So I put my password in, which I'm not going to say, but it doesn't do anything. I don't know if that's because I've put the wrong password in or if it's not working. And of course, you cannot see what you typed because it just puts a lot of dots there, which is... This seems to be a thing with computers in general. When you put your password in, why doesn't it show you what you're typing? If you make a mistake, you've absolutely no idea. And back on the Windows side of things, let me just close this so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's have a look at what network devices show up on Windows 7. And I'm pretty sure you can already see for yourself where it says computer. We have two computers showing up. We got Cool Dude Clem PC, which is this computer. Cool Dude Clem Lab, that's my laptop, and I can access any of these. See, if I try to access the laptop, there it is. And all the folders that I have made, share up. And here we are on my laptop. And again, you can see my main computer here, and my laptop here. So, let's try to access the folders from my main computer. The folders that I've made, shared. Let's go into public documents. And there it is. There is lots of files in the public documents folder. Okay, so we're back on Cool Dude Clem PC now. And I'm sure you've noticed that only two computers show. The Linux Mint computer is nowhere to be found, yet we know it has internet access. It's not showing up here. And neither Cool Dude Clem Lab or Cool Dude Clem PC shows up on that computer. It just seems to be an endless tunnel with no light at the end. I try to fix one problem, a whole bunch of other problems come along. So, I don't know. Again, I'm not trying to troll people who use Linux. I'm not saying Linux is bad. For the people it works for, it's pretty good. But, it's just not for me.